Okay, it's mid-June and we're back at our tree with all the bagworm problems. And remember we put some of those bags, bagworms, into a bag to see when they would hatch. And so if we look into that bag, I can see there's some kind of, there's some, it's hard, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's some kind of junk on the sides. I always give you a picture of that. So those are the little bags that have hatched. This happened uh, about a week ago. So. I knew when we came back out to our tree that we would probably see some little bags on the tree. So when you look at the tree kind of from a distance, it probably doesn't look any different than when we were here before. But if you start to look closely, there's some brown needles. Like you can see with these bags and you see these brown needles. And this is where our new bagworms are. And they're so tiny. I don't know if I can like maybe pull one off to show you how small they are. But this is a brand new bagworm caterpillar, so they start out really little. He's not very happy now because I just pulled him off his tree and dropped him. <laughs> but they don't even eat the full needles at this stage. They really just eat a little part of the needle, and so the needle above wherever they ate dries out and dies. And as they get larger, they'll start to actually eat the entire needle, and that's why you see the bare branches with the large bag hanging on it. But this is the perfect time to apply a treatment because you know the caterpillars have hatched, they'll consume the insecticide you apply. You can use um, organic options such as BT or Dipole. It's really anything labeled for, you know, blue spruce and caterpillars will work fine. The key to manage them is the timing, and so that's why we use the bag. We also can time hatch with the Japanese tree lilac blooming, and then come back out out, look for activity and apply the treatment. So right here, you know, we've got some of the come babies and then the large bag we're in. So this is a large bag from last year. This could have been the mom and the eggs were in here all winter. Those eggs hatched and now we have the little baby caterpillars right around feeding right near the mom. And this is why bagworms are such a big problem because you've got multiple generations on the same tree of these were last year's caterpillars feeding, grew big. These, these ones are starting out this year. They'll keep feeding, that bag will keep growing throughout the summer. By July or August, they'll be tying off their bags and spend the winter there and then their children will come on the tree. So we may have three or four generations of caterpillars just on this tree. So three or four years worth to cause this amount of damage.